Hello everyone, welcome back to this channel. I am Preeti and in this today's video tutorial, I am going to explain how we can add gallery data or records to a power apps collection. So before uh, implementation, I will show you some demos that I have created in my power apps canvas application. So let's begin. So you can see here, this is my power apps application based upon a car rental services. You can see here, this is the above is my power apps gallery control that contains all the records from a set point list so and uh, below that you can see there is a button control and you can see add gallery data to collection so whenever a user will click on this button it will create a new collection with all these gallery records and uh, those records it will display in the below data table control so here you can see below below it is a data table control that will display all the new collection records in the next example, I will show you how you can add some specific gallery records to a power apps collection. Suppose there are six, seven data type of columns and uh, you want some specific record from uh, that particular uh, gallery. Content. So here, this is my data table control and it is a button control. Once I will click on this button, it will create a new uh, collection records by based upon the uh, specific gallery. So like previous I showed you this is my gallery data and based upon this gallery only it is creating a new uh, collection with this specific record as I want only the car name, color and daily price so it is uh, displaying only that uh, particular records. Now I will implement all these things and I will show you how you can uh, do it practically. So here I will take a new screen and uh, here you can add a new screen and i will tell you how you can achieve it, achieve it step by step so insert a uh, vertical gallery you can see here you can insert like this and uh, you can uh, change uh, its uh, gallery properties like uh, uh, fields uh, layouts uh, and uh, you can see here wrap count you can make it two and uh, First of all, I will show you that set point list that I have used for this gallery control. So here you can see car rental services is my set point list name. You can see the car name by default it is a title column. I just rename it to car name. Car type is my choice column. Color is also a choice column. Car image my image column and it is my number column. So here you can see all the records and uh, I have connected this SharePoint list to, to this uh, Canvas application and then I, I am um, uh, inserting this gallery control and uh, you can change the data sources, car rental services. So now you can see, once you will select this uh, data source, you can see all the records of the gallery control like this. Okay. So uh, if you want to design this particular uh, gallery control, you can use various type of property like for font size font like etc and uh, image also if you want to make it big then you can big it and uh, you can see the right side it is like fill property you can uh, use that one so now like i will insert another one button control where i will create a new collection based upon this gallery records so uh, by using this button control i will create a uh, new collection by adding this gallery records so what i can do i have noted down uh, like uh, the code i will just copy paste it and uh, just paste it in the button on select property here you can here you can see clear collect function that uh, helps to create a new collection call data is your uh, you can say uh, you can provide your collection name i will uh, provide some call gallery data and here you need to provide the gallery control name as it is my previous gallery control name so it is uh, gal current details now i will change you can see here this is my gallery one is my gallery control name so as for your gallery name you can change your gallery control name dot all items that's it now like you also you can change the text name button text name you can change something add once it is done, you want to see all the records that are uh, created from this uh, gallery control. So you, for that reason, you can take a data table control here. So pick a data table and uh, 
just head in the down over here below the button control and uh, then what you can do like uh, first of all let me create a collection so you can go to the preview and click on this add so once you uh, click on this add uh, to check the uh, collection whether that collection is created or not you can um, select this x symbol and then expand this collection and my collection name is call gallery data you can see here once you will view table you, so you can see here all the records has been created inside this uh, and uh, once like we have already taken that uh, data table control so if you want to display all the like gallery records over here you just simply um, go to the items property of this data table control and just put the collection name that is called gallery data okay and now now it the fields are not visible for that go to the edit fields click on this add field and you can uh, search whatever you want to uh, like uh, so that uh, column name you can uh, just select and add now suppose anything you want to add daily price you can add suppose you want to again uh, you want to uh, display seats so you can select the seats and click on add now you can see these are the records from the gallery control so in this way we can add our gallery control records into a power apps collection so next example uh, is I told you this one suppose you want some specific gallery data to a collection so how you can do this for that I will take a new screen and uh, I will take another data table control you can see here you can search data table so here I have taken one uh, another one data table control and I will take another button control so you can see here I have taken button control here you can just rename to this button control to something like create and uh, now I will write a code that will display only specific data from the gallery control you can see this one is the code I will just copy and paste over the uh, buttons unselect property just paste it so here you can see clear collect like i told you like uh, if you want to create a collection you need to provide that clear, clear collect function call gallery call gallery details is my collection name but here i want to change it call like suppose you can uh, gallery specific data you can change it in power apps there is a function called so columns that helps to users like uh, to uh, and then show those columns from a table and drops all other com columns from the table that means if a user wants a specific columns from a particular table it will show those things and the remaining uh, columns it will drop from the uh, like data table so like uh, we, you need to specify this show column function including the gallery uh, name so if my gallery name is gallery one and dot all items and after that you need to provide the column names as i want to show title car name and daily price only in the data table control or in the collection so for that reason i have taken only three columns that i want to display in the collection and and once it is done you need to just click on this create button so now the collection has been created and it will display only the particular records from the gallery so now again go to this uh, x uh, i mean collection and expand this collection you can see this one so once you will view this table see here you can see like uh, all the records for this particular data i mean if you want to see only those particular columns car type daily price and title it will display and then next like as i told you i i want to display all this record in a data table control so i need to provide i need to go to the items call uh, property of the data table and i need to provide the collection name over here that's it now go to the edit fields and then click on this add field now title and the daily price and car type once you will click on this you can see 
the records but here you can see the card type is coming as object object why because the card type is a choice column in my set point list so for that reason it is coming object object for this to resolve to resolve this issue just click on this and you can see uh, the text property of this uh, column is this item dot card type but as it is a choice column we need to provide a value so i will write dot and then select the value now you can see it will come see here it, it that uh, issue is reserved and uh, it is display everything normally so in this way we can add our gallery records to a power apps collection and as, and as well as if you want to display some specific records from a gallery and create a collection you can do that thing also i have written a complete article on this so you can visit spguides.com you can see over here you can look at this post i have completely written step by steps you can follow it i will uh, give you this article link in the uh, below description box so you can refer it from there if you really like this video kindly like share and subscribe to our youtube channel for more videos like this thank you and have a nice day